Hello guys, in this video we will see how to install and configure Apache Spark 3.5.1 on Windows 11 operating system. It requires WinRare or any software which is required to unzip, then Java, Python and WinUtils or Hadoop installation. Okay, I will show you all one by one. So, first install Java. I have kept the link, video link in the video description to download and install Java on Windows 11. Then Python. Download Python. It is simple. Okay. See the latest one is click on downloads, then download this Python 3.12.3. Okay. So it is simple. Just download it and go to downloads. You have to just double click on this one. It is very simple. The next one is Winitils. You can get the Winitils from the following GitHub link. See, see here we have the different versions of Hadoop. Okay, I will show you which version we have to download. Go to spark dot apache spark dot apache dot org. Click on download. I will keep this link in the video description. Okay, then see here the latest version is three dot five dot one. So we are going to download and install this version then choose a package type see here we have the pre-built for apache hadoop 3.3 or later okay but we don't have the older version so we have to download 3.3 or later okay go to here in this github account then select 3.3.0 or 3.31 bin both are fine okay click on 3.30 then click on this win details.exe click on this download button see download started see we have successfully downloaded next we have to download the this spark zip file click on it click on this first link see download started see its size is 382 megabytes wait until this download completes See, download is completed. The free requisites we have downloaded and now we will see how to configure. See, I have the WinZip or WinRare. See, I have WinRare software. The first one matched. The second one is open CMD. Type Java hyphen hyphen version. See, open JDK Java 17 is installed. And the second one is Python. Type Python 3 and hit enter. It is Python. See, we have the Python latest version that is 3.12.3. Okay, this is the version that I have installed. And next one is Inetils. Okay, now we will see how to configure. Free six match. Go to C drive. First create a directory for Hadoop. Okay, make the folder name as Hadoop. Hit enter. In this folder, create one more directory. Name it as bin. Hit enter, go to that drive, go to downloads directory, copy winitils, copy it, paste here, then next create one more directory for spark, click on new, create directory, spark, hit enter, now go to again downloads directory, right click on the spark bin, zip file winrar then use winrar or any, or any software and extract files then give the spark directory click on ok see yeah, extraction is completed go to spark then copy all these files cut right click cut them go to spark directory paste it remove this empty directory all data is ready so what we have done until now java is installed python is installed spark extracted and hadoop directory created in that bin is there okay so next we have to configure the environment variables in 
Windows 11. Right click on this machine, this PC, then click on properties, then advanced settings, then environment variables. Otherwise, start, then search for environment edit, environment variables, click on, see, we got the same window. Click on this also, we got the same, okay. Click on environment variables, see, I have already set the Java home. That how to set Java home, I have, that is mentioned in the video. See here, just we have to give the Java underscore home, then we have to give the path where Java is installed. Then, in the path variable, click on path, edit, here, at the bottom we have to create new variables, that I will show you. First, create a new direct, new variable for Hadoop. Click on new, then provide name as Hadoop underscore home then in variable value click on browse then go to the drive where we have kept that in utils for file that it see select only this hadoop directory not the bin click on ok now select the path and click on edit then click on new then give the percentile i will keep all the directories and the environment variables values also give hadoop underscore home percentile backslash then give the bin click on ok now next create a new system variable click on new then give spark underscore home then click on browse go to c drive go to spark select spark Select Spark, then click on OK, click on OK, then click on Path again, click on Edit, New, then Percentile, Spark underscore, Home, Spark, Bin, Percentile, Backslash, Bin, then click on OK. Next, next we have to see, I have the Java Home variable. Even if you don't know, just go to the where Java is installed. You have the path like this. You have to copy this path. Then you have to create new. Then paste the path. Then Java underscore home. Like this we have to give. Okay. I have different version. All to get. See I have already set the Java. If you have installed Java 17. That see I have made a video. How to download and install Java 17 on windows so you can go through it and you can install it okay then click on see i have set the java environment variable then select the path click on edit new then give the percentile java underscore home percentile backslash bin then click on ok click on ok click on ok all set now open Command prompt, cmd, then give the spark hyphen, it is hyphen or minus, it is not underscore, then shell, see you haven't received error which means it is success. See we have successfully connected, okay and this is the see this is the web ui okay copy it just select it and hit enter then go to the this paste it see this is the web ui you have the stages storage environment executors and all and many more okay and jobs okay this is scalar control d to quit see we have connected spark apache spark scala version but and see here this is the version 3.5.1 and this is the java version okay so if you want to connect to PySpark give the PySpark no need to give anything just give the PySpark and hit enter see we have successfully connected see this is see this is the web UI so copy it hit enter paste it hit enter see we got the same one 
this is PySpark shell. You can run any commands here. You can create the RDDR. You can perform any actions. Okay. So in this video, we have seen how to download and install Apache Spark for Python or Scala on Windows 11 operating system. For more PySpark or Scala videos, please subscribe my channel. Thank you.